Okay, I am going to go through how I make my smoothies. Um, and usually, since I don't have a blender, this works just fine. I've just got one of these little stick things and a big mixing bowl. And um, we start with three bananas, half a bag of berries. Well, a regular size bag, if um, you've got a regular size bag, which would be like 16 to 20 ounces. Um, this is a ginormous bag. <laughs> so um, anyway, usually Trader Joe's has really good wild berries for a nice price. And um, if you don't want have one there, these are fine. Um, I like the flavor of the blueberries in it more, but um, strawberry or mixed berry is pretty good too. So three bananas. Now the bananas make it nice and smoothie. Uh, smoothie, oh my goodness. Silky and smooth and delicious. So it's kind of creamy-ish with the bananas. Okay, and we're gonna do about 16 to 20 ounces of berries, which would be one whole bag if you've got a regular size bag. Um, I use some almond milk, but you can use coconut milk, regular milk, um, whatever you've got. But if you use an alternative milk, like this stuff is pretty good in smoothies. Um, I avoid soy milk because it tastes funny and spikes estrogen levels, which sucks. Um, but the regular milk, the almond milk, coconut milk, whatever you use, is um, gonna help with the liquefaction plus extra protein. Um, I usually use any kind of Greek yogurt that is um, honey or vanilla, um, usually a full fat, but um, like half fat or, or fat free is okay too, as long as it's Greek yogurt. This is really delicious, but also the one that is the same brand, that's the honey vanilla is really, really good. So when you're making this many smoothies though, at one time, um, you're gonna have to use about half of this. So you wanna make sure you get a nice size one that hasn't been opened yet or you've only eaten about half of. Um, creamy peanut butter and or peanut butter powder. This stuff is actually surprisingly good. I really like that. Um, honey and vanilla protein powder of your choice. Um, and this is how I portion them all and then stick them in the freezer. So then when you wake up in the morning um, or what for lunch or however you need to do your smoothies when your stomach's nauseous and you need some nutrients and protein and stuff, um, you can just either pop those in the microwave or better yet, a bowl of really hot water and then just dunk these in there until um, it's slushy enough, which only takes a few minutes. So that's the gist. And then I will get rolling and let you see how we do. Sometimes you have to add a little bit more liquid so you can add more milk or water to taste. And I will be back. I forgot to add um, that if you don't have these to portion anything out in, you can use sandwich bags or, um, you know, just plastic bags for the free freezer bags. That's what I'm looking for. As long as they have a double zipper and they can hold pretty well. I've mostly ever used these um, before I got a lot of Tupperware stuff. <laughs> so I've also been known to use the extra yogurt things, whatever you can find that is convenient, but these actually do work really well. And then um, once you heat it up, um, you can just put that in a cup or stick a straw right in the bag like I do, like it's an adult Capri Sun <laughs> and go from there. So if you're, Using regular size berries, you're, the bag's gonna look about like this. Um, I start with them frozen because they work everything in better and you can drink it right away and it actually tastes good. As opposed to waiting until they warm up and then it's kind of 
Ew. Um, anyway, so Frozen's nice. I'm gonna get busy. All right, so I've got my bananas and my frozen berries. Um, so if you just started blending right here, it would be a nightmare. This is where you need the liquid ingredients. And I do count the yogurt as a liquid ingredient to help it out. So um, I'm gonna add the scoop or scoop and a half-ish of protein powder. Um, liquid ingredients and then the honey and peanut butter last and blend it all together and then we separate into our little thingies okay i've added the yogurt and this is the protein powder and as you can see it's actually quite a bit um so bear that in mind and i'm actually going to add a little bit more okay so, time for liche. So, at this stage, you have to work a little bit quicker because as it sinks down in here um, and gets into those frozen berries, it's going to start to solidify and freeze down here at the bottom. So, this is the point you want to start blending and then add um, your peanut butter and honey and go from there. Okay, I have now blended the holy bejesus out of this and it is time to add the peanut butter or peanut butter uh, powder or both. And I put a lot of freaking peanut butter. So um, I will show you my relative amounts of that, but basically it's, it's like to taste. Um, and once you're done with this, it's gonna be sweet and savory and I just closed the cabinet with my leg. Anyway, um, but it kind of tastes like a really delicious, like peanut butter snack cake or something, um, or like one of those Uncrustables. But because of the peanut butter, the milk of whatever sort, um, your protein powder, all that together, um, it's, there's a shit ton of protein in here, so it should, um, actually help you stay satiated for a good while without getting hungry again, and, um, make you feel nice and full, and give you lots of nutrients and fiber, so, and a sugar spike, a big-ass sugar spike, so, you know, diabetes beware, just saying, but it's delicious, mmm. All right, so since this one was open, I went ahead and polished it off, but um, since this one was accidentally open too, I'm going to dip into it. And on average, if you're just using regular creamy peanut butter, I'd say probably at least like half of one of these. Excuse my nails. I need to redo them. Jesus. Anyway, um, this Happy Belly peanut butter from Amazon is actually pretty good. Um, it's not the best, but it's actually pretty good. And it's only a dollar. So I use it as like backup. Um, but again, the powdered peanut butter, de freaking delicious. Holy cow. Um, and that's just the Good and Gather Organic from uh, Target. And if I can, I usually try to get the local honey. Um, and I forgot to mention, this was a great thing. As you can see, it's been in the freezer. It's got my water. Um, these ball jars that have the lids and everything, you can put the smoothies in there and put them in the freezer. Easy peasy breezy, but you might have a problem twisting that lid off. So <laughs> um, just be mindful of that. Like if you do that, you'll probably have to then transfer it into the refrigerator to like de-solidify or whatever. But if you're trying to just grab and go in the mornings, that's a divine idea because you can lit them. They're ready to go. Stick them in the freezer. You know, the night before you have to leave for breakfast or something, um, stick one in the fridge and then there you go. Otherwise, you know, again, meet me. So, um, as you can see, once you get your peanut butter all blended up in there, it's going to get lighter. Um, and... Shit like 
about like that. Um, cake batter consistency, nice and smooth. And at this point, add your honey. After that, taste it. Um, and again, the peanut butter amount and the honey is completely to taste. At that point, you're basically done. Sometimes you have to add a little bit more liquid, which you can do with milk or water, um, and maybe another bit of ice if it's, um, you know, not quite the, the right temperature and consistency that you want. So, but that is, that is it. That is it. That's big old mixing bowl and a lot of delicious protein packed, nutritious smoothie. Okay, I'm all done. And as expected, I did have to add a little bit more peanut butter. Excuse my nails, they're not dirty. They're a little bit stained from where I took off my nail polish. So shush. Um, so now um, I've sampled everything, tastes amazing. And now it's time to transfer into these things and one in a glass for moi. So if you're at this stage and pouring isn't an option, like me with this mixing bowl here, because I really need to get a blender, um, this or something um, like a ladle or something is a good adjustment to that. So you can just dip and pour. And I know these are kind of expensive, but bear in mind, you've got a lot going on here and they are basically a full meal replacement. So yay. And that is that. Cheers, bish. Bish, bitches, whatever. Damn it, I've got a really bad migraine. Just shut up and deal with it. You know what I mean? Crap. It's delicious. I love it. I'm so happy.